So this question comes from Sam over on Facebook and he asked, what piece of equipment can you not live without? And do you know what? I hate these questions because like, how can you expect me to honestly pick between all these lovely bits of equipment, all the equipment that's in my mastery studio, all these beautiful pieces of analog gear, of, of just, just exceptional quality equipment. How can I pick one? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I'll pick maybe one from this studio, but I'll, one from the Dolby Atmos studio, right? One from the mastering studio. And then I'll kind of give you another, another one on top of the ones that I do give. Okay, so Dolby Atmos Studio. Now, Dolby Atmos Studio, the one piece of equipment, or rather <laughs> one of two pieces of equipment that I could not live without. Number one, would would I would actually have to say, do I say it's the Avid S4? Or do I say it's the Trinov? Because the thing is, right, the, 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 all right, the two of them, right, the two, are the Avid S4 and the Trinov. Now, the reason I say the Avid S4 and the Trinov is because the, the Trinov is essential, right? So this, the, the Trinov technically is essential. So the Trinov maybe should be my number one thing because with, without the Trinov, um, the room doesn't sound as good as it does. And I, <coughs> I physically cannot achieve the same quality mixes because I'm not physically hearing the correct audio. So the Trinov sorts that. So that for that reason, the Trinov is 100% the most essential piece of equipment and I cannot live without it. But also the Avid S4, which I'll just swing out the way of, is here and it is beautiful and it is the most like it, it, it saves me so much time that I can't live without it. Um, if, if I was to be mixing in this room without the Avid S4, I'd just be on literally the laptop and the, the mouse. It would be, it would be so time consuming to actually mix, um, that it would, it would take me twice as long to mix a track and I wouldn't get as detailed results and I physically wouldn't get as good results. Um, so the Avid S4, it's, it is essential for me. It is massively essential, but maybe not as essential as the Trinov. Now, I think, I think the Trinov is the most essential thing that's in here. And then the Avid S4, I always say the Avid S4 is a luxury. The Avid S4 is a very expensive luxury item that's, um, that I, 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 I feel it is um, essential because of the fact that I have one and I use one all the time and it becomes an essential part of my workflow. Um, but I could, if worst case scenario and I didn't have it, it would be the end of the world, but um, I could get by. I could still achieve, albeit it would take me twice as long, but I could still achieve a great sounding mix. If I took the Trinov out and I didn't have a Trinov, then I would physically, if I was using this or if I was using anything else, I still wouldn't be able to achieve the same great sounding mix because I wouldn't be hearing the sound. Uh, I wouldn't be hearing it come to my ears in in as good, uh, or I wouldn't say as good quality. I say as accurate quality coming to my ears. Um, so it's all about the Trinov just makes everything accurate. It's like, it's unbelievable when you turn this thing on. So I would say, yeah. Okay. So, so, so the Trinov is the, the one piece of equipment that I could not live without closely followed by the Avid S4. That's in the Dolby Atmos room. Now in the mastering room, um, oh, analog mastering. Okay, um, the one piece, something we got recently, which is the um, Golly, um, the Shelvin Dynamic EQ. Now that, that I, I kind of would put up there with could not live without because it is such an essential piece now. 
Um, dynamic EQ in the analog domain is unbelievable. Plus, the golly actual golly one is is really good. We've just got the so we've got the shelving unit in there at the moment, and it is ridiculously good and um, and and gives us gives us a, a, a an ability to um, to EQ dynamic with dynamics. Um, really really well and, uh, and previously we'd only been able to do this uh using um the oxford is it oxford or sonics sonics uh it was the um they had a dynamic eq and it was a plug-in and it was really good and um before we we only had the ability to do this in the box and where we're a studio that's working out the box and with a superior kind of sound without the box it is you know, if you can get everything out of the box, if you can get dynamic EQ out of the box, by all means, do because it sounds unbelievable in comparison. We've now bought the um, we've got on order, which should be here in the next few days. I'm just waiting on Jason for from SX to to get in contact uh, when the actual delivery arrives with them. Should be here in a couple of days. But we've got the asymmetrical one, so now we have a high shelf, a low shelf, and two middle bands as well. So you've got a four band basically four band um golly uh dynamic eq and it is ridiculously good um i'm looking forward to pairing the two of them up that i would say is 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 an essential piece in there because it is the what is one of the most unique pieces of equipment that we have in our mastering studio the other one the other one that i would also put in there with an as an essential piece is probably the yeah, it would probably be the undertone unfair child. Um, and the reason I say that is because it's not this, it, it sounds unbelievable. It sounds brilliant, right? This thing sounds ridiculous how good it is. Um, not cheap. They're, f I think, 13 and a half for a compressor. Um, or maybe 12 and a half, I think. 12 and a half with the expansion that we've got. Um, but it is ridiculously good. And it's also, it's not just how good it sounds. It's not just about how good it sounds. It's about what it represents as well is that is a compressor that every person, every mastering engineer, every mixing engineer, every recording engineer, every engineer who ever has ever worked on audio longs for this compressor. Right, it is just the I'm, I I know because I have the original Fairchild compressor. This is the re kind of the re edition, the new version. That's that's um, the let's call it the um, the kind of revamped. Um, it's not a clone, albeit it kind of is, but it's like an identical clone uh, with a few added additional features when you get this expansion box. It is unbelievable how good this thing is, and it sounds ridiculous. So, <coughs> um, I would put it in there with the essential things because because of what it, it it's what it represents. It's something that we've always wanted. Every client that we have um, will look at it and instantly recognize it from oh my god, that's a Fairchild and instantly wants to have their songs run through it just because they know, everybody knows how good it sounds, but not everybody gets to use one. And that's that's why it's an essential piece of equipment because it ultimately it's it performs a brilliant job, but also it brings in clients who just want their music put through through things like that and that goes i mean that goes for all the other equipment that goes to the alpha compressor that goes to mea2 that goes for i don't know the vertigo vsm2 the whitestone do you know the vertigo i'd probably put there as an as essential piece of equipment as well because that that is different class when you when you have that off if you do a master and you just flick the vertigo off it's like okay flick it on it's like wow Blimey, it sounds good. Um, so the Vertigo is something that really does make a, a big, big difference, and that's a really good, uh, good uh, saturation unit. Um, yeah, 
I mean, I could go on forever with what's essential because I, I personally I think everything's essential. I mean, uh, for me, not to say that the PMCs behind me are essential. I mean, of course they're essential. They're speakers. Without them, I don't hear anything. Um, so I mean, everything's essential. Everything, even the I mean, Dante cable that goes from there to there is essential because without it, I don't get any sound out. So, um, but you know, this room, I say the essential, the most essential piece of equipment is. The Trinov, uh, closely followed by the uh, Avid S4. The Mastering Studio, yeah, I'd probably say the Golly, uh, asymmetrical and shelving put together. Call them one EQ. Um, closely followed by the Unfair Child. Uh, so, yeah, I hope that answers your question. And um, any further questions? Anyone? If anyone's got any questions... Put them in the description, and I always try and go through them all, and um, I try and get these videos out every couple of days. So, yeah, hope that answers you your question.